Uh, check out the new run command, I'm the lawn. Oh. Oh, we gotta take off first. I have to travel directly to Okay. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Boom. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship Assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Ah, boom. Hey, Math, what's up, buddy? Oh, we already got one, Will Pog. <laughs> we got lots of videos up. <laughs> All the vids. Oh God, did I go too fast again? Oh no. <laughs> Two more there. Fleet ships are jumping into our there we go.
mercy indeed, friend. Use any mods? Uh, only the chat mods. Yep. Do not recommend though. They uh, they bite. They only bite because you don't feed them and keep them in the basement? Well... Man, you really got to be right up on top of them without the uh, <laughs> without the stuff there. Kind of funny. We got some silver. Great. All right, set of the waypoint. We're just gonna want to be collecting like basic minerals that we'll store in the ship. Uh, we'll start marking stuff as soon as we need it as well and start buying stuff early this playthrough so we don't necessarily have to do a whole bunch of base building. I think if, if I build a base this playthrough, I want it to be a base that's more about, like, you know, a place to store cool gear and display weapons and, you know, kind of make it more of a home this time than more of a... Uh, just like a thing, like we did last... like a resource generator, so... Can you explain this, how you're gonna uh, play this run differently than the previous? Uh, sure, so this time I'm gonna be much more character centric. The first time I played, I basically rushed like all the outpost stuff, which meant that we were really deep into this tree, but like nothing in this tree is really character centric. It's all about building out outposts and things like that. So this time we're gonna look more into combat, we're gonna look more into social. I wanna do like more stealth this time, uh, more, more jetpack boosting. Uh, we're gonna do like credits and stuff early to make more money. Basically, we learned a lot of really good stuff in our first playthrough that I feel like we can make this playthrough a lot better with. So, yeah. We I, I do wanna do some rudimentary crafting, but for that, we only need to do like spaceship, spacesuit design and weapon engineering. We don't have to go like any further down here. We can also kind of just stick to just those two probably. Um, Yeah, we, we got lots of options, lots of options. Will you go fast for NG plus or take it slow? No, we're gonna we're gonna do what I suggest doing in my video. I basically, since the beginning, I've wanted to play this a certain way, and I'm going to play it like that. And that is, we're gonna do alien creatures are often this playthrough is gonna be our big hundred percent go everywhere, do everything run, and then right when we get to the end, I'm going to do a big hard save. And then when expansions and DLC come out in the future, we'll probably just load from here. And then after I do that, we're gonna new game plus it, and then we're gonna like 
do all the new game plus stuff, I think. Like, probably take that to plus 10, get all the powers that we want max, that kind of thing. And then I'll put a save at the end of that, too. So what that'll mean is we'll have one save that's a that's that's base game with everything done and then we'll have a second save that's like new game plus 10 at least with all of that ready to go just in the off chance that Bethesda releases an expansion that you can only do after new game plus and I think with both of those saves we'll be like rock solid ready to go yeah so that's the plan is it all going to happen before cyberpunk I don't know so yeah am i sponsored to do this no i i did one sponsored two hour stream at the beginning um like a week ago and since then i've played over 100 hours and we're starting our new game now yeah Enemy damage received. that was someone else that, that definitely wasn't me What's a good planet to find titanium on? Oh, they're, they're all over the place. Titanium, thankfully, is not too rare. You may need to uh, level up in scanning, though, if you're wanting to find exactly where it is. Oh. I think the first thing we're going to unlock, though, is lock picking. We, we got to get lock picking early. Did I find a good planet with adhesive? Yes, adhesive, the best way to get that is from animals. So I recommend uh, the place that we made our primary base in our last playthrough. There is an animal on there you can farm for adhesive. Wait, no. There's a plant, it's a cactus that you can grow for adhesive. I'm sorry, it's not an animal, it's a plant. You should really look for a research tower on this planet. They're great. A research tower? I have never gotten a research tower. I don't I don't even know what that is. What what does that do? Research towers give survey info. Oh. Oh, like automatically so you don't have to go around and get them? Like, it gives you all the survey info? Full data on the planet. Well, that's cool. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we've ever gotten one of those. If we did, I didn't realize what I was doing, which, let's be fair, is not very uncommon. We could totally do the Mantis early in this playthrough. Get some decent gear somewhat near the beginning. Not a bad idea. Maybe we'll do that. Polytextiles, nice. I gotta admit, it's so cool seeing these since doing the UC quest line, which we'll also probably do pretty early. That is, that is kind of baller. But if you don't know what I mean by that, stay tuned. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, Mr. MX, yeah, yeah, Freestar will probably, will probably knock out pretty early.
my life chunk by chunk. Oh, yes. Give me them digi picks. I recommend doing the Crimson Fleet quest first. Yeah? We haven't done the Crimson Fleet yet. We'll see, man. There's, I mean, I, I want to do all the quests first. I think that's what we should do. Let's do all the quests first. How's that sound? This playthrough. Let's just do that. Yeah. Kelty Knight, that sound good? Okay, cool. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to do every quest in the game first. I think, that, I think that'll work the best. Chat, you're on board with this? Okay, great. Okay. Looks clear. that take a look in our aid what is amp 35 percent movement speed and 2x jump height okay part plus 20 percent health and 200 percent damage resistant let's put this on five nothing I'm hearing you. Chunks employee handbook. Chat, did you hear her? Go. Get out there. You do your thing. I'll be back here looting. Kind of cool. If you run up to a door and they put the gun like that, that means that if you right click, you look around the door. So you can use that as like a light cover mechanic. on the toilet. We're going to hold down E to pick this up, like this. And we're going to open the toilet lid. Oh, this, one's, this one doesn't work. Oh, chat. What about this one? Oh, okay. Okay, we're clear there. We're clear there, chat. I'm going to put that toilet stuff in there. Grab this. Chat, we're clear. We're clear. Keep moving. We're clear. Clear. Let's go. Okay. I already am kind of low on ammo. Um, got 149 rounds for that. 
got 54 rounds for the Solstice. 33 rounds for the Eon. Go ahead and put this on right now just for ammo management. Never used one of these before, ever. Dad, the Terramorph is loose. I repeat, Terramorph is loose. Ooh. Oh, I can do this. Oh, our first lock. Red Harvest Non Bread. I want some Red Harvest Non Bread. Oh. oh, they don't turn blue. Rude. Gonna get that upgraded as soon as possible. Oop. Nice. I think lock picking will be the first thing we can get here. We gotta we gotta do the achievement for it first, but. Good there. Hmm. It is so much nicer being able to just like instantly scan these environments for what we need. Rendell. Got you. Alright. Go for lockpicking. I'd recommend do reunion first. Of course. I've had every, every quest has been recommended to me to do first, which I love to be fair. That's awesome. But yeah. You okay, buddy. Go for a good ship. I recommend playing the game. Oh, that's fair. You'd love to see it. ammo there. Up on the hazmat suit. Oh. Is it a terramorph? Maybe? I don't know what that is. One day, Co, I'll be able to make you stand up. I don't know. You got a lot of competition, bud. They were right there. Oh, 
personal pet shop. Facility is completely operational. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. The arthropods are in a world incredible. They've passed all environmental survivability tests. Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils. After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I'm overjoyed to report that we finally found a species that will serve as the backbone for the UC Xeno Warfare Division. Dude. It's all about the Red Devil stuff. This is where they made the creatures for the Red Devils. Things I'm gonna do when I find you. Which we know about from the other quest line. How freaking cool. So this is one of the bio labs for it. Must have scattered. I wonder if they can see your flashlight. I don't think so. Nope. Vasco's cover. You know how it is. Get him, bud. Okay. Pirate raiding pack. Cool. Oh, there's an Equinox. Great. That means we'll have even more ammo options. Huh. Cool. Right pack. Beautiful. Nothing there we can use. It's a dead pirate, okay. If you're feeling crazy, you can encounter a Terramorph on this planet. Really? That's cool. I didn't know that. I'm assuming it's the one that escaped from here, right? It is. Cool, man. I don't even think we'd have the ammo to kill it at this point. You don't? Yeah, you don't. Okay. Hear him chat. No one's getting through. Is he on the ground? Oh, no. Violence significantly decreases one's life expectancy. Thanks, Emma Fortis. There it is. Get it, Vasco. Awesome. 
Okay. Do we have a better Grendel? We don't. There we go. Beauteous. Why is it level 2? Because I just restarted. Mm -hmm. Why restart? Uh, check out the new game command. New game command doesn't explain how you're going to play your way. What up life? Does it doesn't talk about why I restarted? Am I encumbered already? Of course I am. Yeah. It does. Dub just being dub. Dub's just being dub. I swear, dub love. I just gotta put you on ignore, buddy. I appreciate you as a person, but we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, dub life. I I haven't talked about any of that. I I don't know how exactly how I'm gonna do this run yet. We're gonna do it differently because I'm not gonna do the outpost stuff, but. Dimitri's got like a bad hairball today. Give one second, chat. I got some hairball meds for Dimitri. Let me pop these in real quick. Uh, Monty, you know what to do. One sec, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 